They've only been hiring hicks lately. And how do you know that? Because they love their goats so much they take them everywhere. <laughs> Parsnip! Man, I'm gonna have to get used to that. <laughs> Here, you left your briefcase in the conference room. Thank you, you. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm still a little out of sorts after everything that just happened. <laughs> it's normal. It's best to play along. You'll get used to it. And I'm glad I did a horse trick. The colonel was a mad hatter. Who knows where he would have sent you. Also, human resources are in the hype. Make a friend there and who knows. They might raise your salary or they might even change your job. Well, I'll see you around. Interesting. Well, let's go and make a friend at the hive. Oh, well there she is. Wasn't that Kate? The girl I made in the lobby? That totally was Kate. I saw her. Alright, anyone interested in making friends? Alright, no, you are still going to attack me. Alright, you guys are still staring at the printer. That's, that's great. You keep doing that. I'm gonna find me a friend. What about you, sir? No? Hmm. Well, looks like someone is having a nice time compared to us. Hello? Hello! Good morning. Nice to meet you, partner. I don't know if you remember me. We met in the lobby. Ah, of course! I remember you, Brian! Did everything work out with that letter in the end? I mean, you're here, so I guess it did. Yeah, well, uh, sort of. I'm working on the fifth floor. They're pulling my leg. The fifth floor? Well, Brian, congratulations! How come you're not jumping from joy? Come on, jump! Wow, I'm so jealous of you. Well, it's not such a good job to tell you the truth. It's a bit... Uh, you haven't noticed anything weird. I mean, haven't you seen any dangerous thing or anything strange? Any creatures around here? Ah, that. Yeah, I see weird things all the time. I was also surprised by this peculiar atmosphere at first, but Brian, we're newcomers. It's normal that we're not used to how things work here. And of course, we're going to be outdone by professional work at this level. We have a lot to learn. Yeah, I guess. But still, it's a little dangerous, don't you think? Look, I already got the hang of it. Shall I tell you the secret? Oh, please. When I see or believe that there is a dangerous creature nearby, watch. Easy peasy, I'm under the table. They hardly ever see you there. They wait, you wait a little while for the danger to go away and then continue. Working as if nothing had happened. I didn't think about that. The truth is, there are plenty of places to duck. Sure. And if you don't have a table nearby, you can get in one of these closets. I knew those closets had to be useful for something. Easy peasy, I've disappeared. <laughs> I see you've got it under control. Look Brian, I know it's all a little weird. It's a little weird for me also. But at business school, they always told us that we had to be positive and proactive. Also, if we give up so quickly on our first job, we may not be taken seriously in the next one. You'll see, Brian. Once we get used to the dynamics of the company, everything will go smoothly. By the way, what are you doing here? Hey, um, well, Colonel Dumman, a very strange fellow with a horse. So, he told me I had to come to the fourth floor and make a friend and, well, I thought that maybe, maybe you... Oh no, break's over and I have to reconvene the microlending department. But I haven't finished yet. I still have 30,000 copies to organize. I don't know how I'm going to get them sorted around in time. I can help you if you want. Really? But what are you telling me? You were here to do a horse chore? Ah, no. No, don't worry. I have some free time. Thank you very much, Brian. Okay, so this is the marketing department. Right. And why are they on all fours? I think it's the latest trend in yoga while you're working. So, four employees are missing. They must all be somewhere on this floor. Hmm. They won't be dangerous, will they? They are usually harmless. But if you tell them something they don't like, they'll throw a tantrum. 
I advise you to look around for good marketing slogans and use those to convince them to follow you. But keep in mind that each person is different and has different tastes. Bring them here when you've convinced them. Alright, leave it to me. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll do anything for coffee, by the way. So if you're offering free coffee, I'll do whatever you want me to do. This looks like a marketing slogan. Unite and be free. They are company union pamphlets. Unite and be free. It's got a hook. I remember the phrase. Hmm. We got our first slogan. So who in this company is interested in anarchism? Are you interested in anarchism? Nah. You're just still crying about your job. Oh, no. Is there anything new on the screens? There's a message on the screen. I offer you peace. I offer you love. I offer you friendship. I offer you yoga. Whoa, you look at that. It says Centrocore with Super Record. This one is blank. Or this one. This one is blank as well. Hello, sir. May I interest you in some slogans? They're free. Right. No one wants to hear my slogans. Oh, you guys. Oh, it hurts so much. What's wrong with you? Oh, so they don't like the light. Ah, and here I thought that the company was just cheap and didn't want to pay the electric bills. But it's just that they like to work in the darkness. Alright, well this guy's on all fours. Let's just get rid of these chairs so he can get out of there. Hold on. There we go. Are you good? There's no way out. There's no way out. Well, I'm thinking that if you want to get out of there, you want to be free. Yep, absolutely. You're an easy one to convince. Atta boy. Let me take you to your cubicle where you can be free with no rules. Of course I have to show him the way. <laughs> there you go. Well, one is in. Three more to go. Where could the other guys be? Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Do I have any items left? Yeah, I do. Right, let me eat this. Drink two cups of coffee because why not? Eat that as well. And drink some water. We should be good now. I have pencils, right? Yeah, I have plenty of them. Oh, you can reach it. Right. How about now? There we go. Boy, this is turning out to be a very calm episode. Oh no. That's not good. Let's use this. Oh, there you go. Oh! Oh no. <laughs> well, I can see why you got trapped. Alright, I get- Oh! Man, can I stop- Oh man! Can I stop doing that? I just said it was a calm episode. Look what it's happening right now. There we go. Alright, buddy. Will you stop moving? I'm not having the best day right now. Calm down. Please. Gotcha. Uh, Unite and be free? Hope he likes it. Oh no. He definitely didn't like that. Um, I believe we d yeah, we don't have any items left. No consumables. Unless I can eat this. Nah. What is this? It's an empty cereal box. It has a barcode. Hmm. Well, let's go to the canteen and buy some stuff. Even though I didn't want to spend any money. But I think I'm going to edit that part out because... Holy crud. Are we going way too slow? <laughs> we made it. Can I get some water? Thank you. How much? Yeah, that's not good at all. That doesn't even give you half of your health back. We're gonna have to get consumables. How about we get a Coke? Yeah. You got one soda. And a candy bar. And you know what? Just in case, let me buy two more. One more. And of course, how could we forget? A cup of coffee. Nice. Wait, I don't have any more credits? Really? I thought being a witch hunter would give me a lot of money. Now it seems like it's not even enough. I'm just gonna eat this. Drink a Coke. We should be good now. I can't even afford a candy bar. What is this? <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Let's go back. Finish our task. Hopefully we get some money out of this. Because we are sure gonna need it. So that was level 4, right? Yeah. 
Alright. Who else needs to be sent to the cubicle? Um, how do I get where you are? Because you're on all fours. So you must be from the marketing department. Hmm. Can I talk to you about your friend? So what did the doctor say? He said make your diet your best medicine. So you have to eat better? No, he told me to take these meal replacement pills. Look. Make your diet your best medicine. Dicotero. Make your diet the best medicine. That's good advice. I'll remember that. Wait. So is that a slogan? Yeah, that's all the same. I think that was a slogan. But how do I get over where you are, lady? I want to take you back to your cubicle. Where you actually belong. I want to make you go back to your friends. They're waiting for you. Wait, so how do you crawl? Ah. Okay, so... It's just about moving forward in a space where you can crawl. So can I crawl under this desk? Yes, I can, okay. But how do I get where that lady is? Can I crawl under him? What are you doing hanging around here? Get out of here, rookie! Whoops, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Whoops, sorry, sorry. I'll get out of here as soon as possible. I don't want my face mouth. Um, I can go down here. What's in this? It's a VHS tape title. Video Club Mysteria. Hmm. And two batteries. Nice. That's never a bad thing to find. Batteries are pretty useful in this place. No. Did I check these magazines? When you like your job, every day is a holiday. Hmm. Funny headline. I'll remember that. We got another slogan. This is just a coffee machine. But we already have coffee. And we don't have any credits left. Hmm. Three more. So will it work with this guy? Come here. Uh no, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay, you're a you're a difficult one to convince, I see. How do I get where you are, lady? How? Tell me. There's gotta be a way. And it must be through here, but can't find it. Oh wait. Oh I'm an idiot. <laughs> well at least now we got the the one for you, because I'm assuming you like beaches and holidays, so Hawaii Bombay Paradise. When you like your work, every day is a holiday. Yep, not work. Alright. Follow me. Don't worry. Don't let the other Workers intimidate you. Keep coming. Keep coming. They've only been hiring hicks lately. And how do you know that? Because they love their goats so much they take them everywhere. <laughs> Alright. Don't pay attention to them, Brian. I'm not gonna say that wasn't funny, but... That was a little mean. Here we are. Alright, two more. There's an open message. It says, I've already taken the book from my idiot partner. Stop at my cubicle later and take the book to your desk to hide it. It's in my briefcase. The key is negative one. Oh, wait. So, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is talking about the briefcase that's with this guy. And there's a book in here. So the code is 981. I think it's a self-help book. Swallow your anger and pretend. Good advice. I remember that. Also, that's what this grumpy guy needs. Come here. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do anything bad to you. Swallow your anger and pretend, dude. See? It's that easy. You don't have to attack everyone who comes to save you from the mines. Yep, keep following us, dude. I swear, if someone says anything about my job... Ah, uh, what was that? Alright, that's what I thought. Alright, here you go. And I think that's it, right? Oh wait, no, I think we still have one more left. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, I already know what to do. Yep, there's only one employee left. Where could that guy be? Wait, 
Could this be one of them? Yum yum. Uh, make your diet your best medicine? Oh, here it is. Alright, let's go, buddy. Hey, man. Thanks for getting that goat off my back. He wanted to chew through all the wires. Uh, you're welcome. My name is Pastanak. You can call me Mr. Doshi. I'm the IT guy. Oh, so you're busy fixing computers? <laughs> no way. I'm guarding them to keep the best component. Oh, it's getting late. I have to leave before the Matrix wakes up. Matrix? The dot matrix, man, are you new? Yeah, I started today. Well, you better catch up with the local fauna, man. Here, a welcome present. A screwdriver. I have a workshop on the third floor. If you drop by later, maybe I can show you some super cool stuff. Ah, thank you very much. Peace, man. Uh, peace, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's go. You're not gonna give me a hard time, are you? You are walking way too slow. Why are you doing that? Yep, it's definitely always the last one that causes you a lot of trouble. <laughs> nope. Keep, keep coming. Oh, wrong way. Where are you going? You're gonna get me hurt because this guy is gonna attack me. Come here. There you go. You can do it, AI. I believe in you. You can do it. He's not coming. Ah, he just needed more convincing. Almost there, dude. Almost there. And this should be the last one. Here you go, Kate. Well, not so four of them. Um, sorry Brian, but something happened. A marketing girl who was already inside just escaped. I tried to catch her, but it was impossible. She got into HR. It's the door in that corner. Oh, you mean human resources? Well, this should be interesting. Poor thing, she's sick of marketing and slogans and she always goes there to go get a new job. No problem, I take a look. Oh, watch your step in there, the HR girls are a little cheeky. But if you remember the little tricks I told you about, you won't have a problem. I have no idea why I did that. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's get into this room and see what the fuzz is all about. The sign says, oh, I can't even get in. You sure this is where she went? There's an air duct up there. Maybe I can get to it if I climb. Oh, got it. But... What am I supposed to climb? This bookshelf? Yeah. Let's go for it. Let's see if I don't kill myself. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, well... Yoga? You are all over it, Brian. Fitness is very important. These sedentary office jobs. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's what I'm doing. It's closed. Oh wait, but I have that... Screwdriver, what is it? Uh, there it is. Let's see if this works. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know that Saturdays are for more relaxing kind of playthroughs, but in my opinion, I thought that this was a very relaxing episode. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.